From current players to veterans, the golden oldies to be exact. Each year, former club players over the age of 35 get together for an annual tournament and this year, the Fidelity Security National Golden Oldies Festival was held at the Douglas Mitchell Sports Ground in Uvongo on the south coast of KZN. We've got 32 teams from throughout South Africa attending this tournament, which is probably the most I've had over the last 10 years. I got a call in August last year to host the National Golden Oldies here down on the south coast. I obviously grabbed the opportunity with both hands for various reasons. One, to help and assist the academy, the Southern KZN Sharks Academy, our local rugby and development as well. For us, it's not only an honour and a privilege to host it, we've set some new records and standards for the rest of the Golden Oldies to keep them alive going forward. Well, firstly for me, it's, it's my first tournament. So I'm very chuffed uh, to be part of this, uh, this whole setup. Um, I think the guys here at the coast have done a, a superb job. It's a nice tournament to, to come through and socialise, especially with, uh, with the oldies. You know, it's nice to have a tournament for, for, the, for the boys that are over 35. You know, we, we really enjoy that. The 32 teams that are competing will have a prize giving on Saturday, which is not for winning. It's for fun, friendship and fraternity, is the slogan for the Golden Oldies. The Southern KZN Sharks Academy students were enlisted to assist in the running of the festival. On a day like this, uh, it just motivates us as the young players of today, just to get out there and like, look up to the old people, just look up to them like one day, you know, I also want to play some rugby when I get to that age as well, just keep the spirit of the game going. That's, what, that's a great experience, watching the old guys hit and tackle, still like we do. Uh, all the guys from the academy for the past few days are coming out and helping out, cooking, frying, selling drinks and all that. I'm being very pleased to announce that uh, for the first time we've got Fidelity Security Group on board um, to be our main sponsor in addition with SAB as well as Distel. But let me just get back to Fidelity Security Group. They've been a big, big contributor of sponsorship throughout the whole of KZNRU, sponsoring the Sharks, assisting with the KZNU in a massive way with club rugby. And I must just say thanks to Val Bartman to, and all his staff for getting involved with, with the National Golden Oldies. I'm very pleased to see that they also prepared to give money and contribute to, on, on this scale. Well, we've, we've got a lot of guys um, that have come through from, from the Coxted side. Um, Coxhead, of course, being um, the, the, the oldest club in, in, uh, in KZN, we've recently celebrated our 125th birthday. So for us to, to come through and, um, and be involved in a tournament like this is very big for us. Uh, it's a great honour being in academy. You know? it's, a, uh, it's a pleasure with all the coaches and everything we do. Right? It's fun, having fun with new friends and making new friends. Yeah. A lot of guys do not know um, what to do once they retire, you know, and especially being over 35, you, you can't really keep up with, with the youngsters anymore. So it's, it's a great setup to, to have a tournament just for the over 35s. There's a lot of rugby that goes on, there's a lot of socialising. It's all about meeting new guys, new friends in different places and going around. The guys love rugby, we're a rugby fraternity and that's what it's about. So we're just trying, we're trying to prolong the guys' rugby career. Um, it works for some, it doesn't work for others, but the majority of it does, and it's, it's awesome stuff. It's, it's incredible. The facilities here have been top class. We, we, we're very proud and very happy to be here and to enjoy our fraternity with everybody. Highlighting the ethos of Golden Oldies Rugby, the event also raised funds which were donated to the Chris Berger Petro Jackson Players Fund. A huge thank you to 